The painstaking search for victims at a collapsed condo in Surfside, Florida, intensified today, even as hopes diminished that anyone would be found alive. The confirmed death toll climbed to nine, with four more bodies recovered. More than 150 people are still unaccounted for. CBS's Manuel Bajorquez has been covering the disaster for the last four days. Jerica, good evening. Rescue crews have been able to dig a trench within the rubble 125 feet long and 40 feet deep so far. It is providing them one of the best chances of reaching any possible survivors. And they still have hope, even as the death toll rises. Search and rescue crews are looking for void spaces, possible pockets beneath the rubble where someone may be alive. They are now aided by teams from Mexico and Israel. Golan Vak is commander of the Israeli team. It's a difficult site. We call it site in Israel, and there is a pancake very tight. What gives them hope is past experience. The team rescued a 64-year-old man four days after Haiti's 2010 earthquake. This is day four of the Surfside condo collapse. So there's hope? Yeah, there is always hope. But for some families of the more than 150 unaccounted for, the worst fears have been confirmed. At least nine are known to have been killed. Among those identified so far, 54-year-old Stacy Fang, whose son was rescued, 83-year-old Antonio Lozano, 79-year-old Gladys Lozano, and 54-year-old Manuel Lafont. Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava says the community is united as it supports the families of the missing and the deceased. We have grief counselors, we have clergy of every sort, we feel the support of the whole world for us right here in Surfside. Mike Noriega's 92-year-old grandmother, Hilda, is among the missing. They found family photographs in the debris. Well, my grandmother, she definitely was a very powerful soul, a very powerful soul. And if she's underneath that rubble alive, it'll be a miracle of the ages. And if she's not, I know that her soul is in heaven. Questions remain about the once 12-story building structural problems. While experts caution it could take months to determine a cause, a survey from 2018 indicated abundant cracking in concrete columns and major structural damage to a concrete slab. It did not warn of a collapse. A lawyer for the condo association confirmed to CBS News a month later at a condo board meeting, a city building official told residents it appears the building is in very good shape. Once we understand, I am guaranteeing you leg legislation will be taking place so this will never happen again. Heavy machinery has also been brought in to help lift some of those large pieces of rubble. They will be hauled to a warehouse for forensic evaluation. Jerica. Manuel Bajorquez, thank you.